Quebec City, Canada. A deranged man with a machine gun has stormed into Canada's National Assembly building and taken hostages. Outraged at the government, the crazed man says that if his demands are not met, he will kill anyone who gets in his way. Outside, SWAT teams, snipers, and rescue units are in place for what could be a long, bloody battle. But then, Sergeant at Arms Rene Jalbert enters the room. He bravely faces down the gunman, determined to reason with him. The Sergeant at Arms barely flinches as the madman fires his automatic weapon inches from his face. Jalbert tries to bond with the gunman, noting that they both served in the army. Even though the lunatic could kill him at any second, Jalbert's cool manner seems to gain the gunman's confidence. Remarkably, Jalbert convinces the man to release his hostages. Now he must get them out before the gunman has a change of heart. Outside, one of the captives describes the terror inside the building. When I saw he was shooting, I tried to hide. I felt a burning and I saw that I caught a bullet in my arm. Then, Jalbert somehow convinces the madman to give up. He offers the man a smoke. Okay. And leads him out of the hall and into police custody. Jalbert walks away a national hero. Later, he receives a medal for his bravery. Fittingly, it's awarded in the same chamber where Jalbert put his life on the line just days before. Every sergeant arms across Canada that I know have all got the same responsibility as I have. It's their house, and they are to protect it and surely to protect the members. That's their prime function. So I, I don't, I just think that I did my job, that's all. The hostages know that they made it out alive because of René Jalbert, a man who stared death in the face to save innocent lives.